everyone this is Rohit welcome back my youtube channel salesforce hunt so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel salesforce hunt for more updates so today i'm going to show you how to generate automatic test class in salesforce okay so it's a simple way to generate your automatic test class in salesforce okay so i just logged in here in this org this is my org and i successfully logged in in this org and you have to go first like this gear icon and edit this page because i need install the package manage package from the apac exchange so here you can see bottom like get get more on the apac exchange right so just click this link pop up and here you have to change this drop down as a app here you can see apps so just click this apps and have you have to search like test class and hit the enter after that you can see this one okay test class generator just click this test class generator and after that you can see this test class generator package okay so i already installed this one so let me show you where it is okay so just go back and uh, change this view as a classic so just here you can see view profile just click this view profile icon and here you can see switch to salesforce classic right and just let me click this one and here you can see just a small plus icon and you have to search like test class generator here this one so just click this test class generator and here you can see this is a new window right so let me create one apex class for this one so how to test this and how to create all the things okay so here you can see developer console just right here you can see developer console so you have to just click close all the things okay and you have to click this new file new then apex class and create your apex class like first or you can take any class like second as well okay so here you can see second okay just click this second and once you click this second so you have to write some code right so public like uh, i want to create one constructor here like public second and just close this and system dot debug and this is constructor right so just this is constructor okay so this is constructor just save it and uh, you have to create another method like public and public void it doesn't return anything okay that's why i'm taking this one like public static void and then get data something like that get data this is the method name and give the implementation of this method so right now i'm choosing like list of account okay acc list equal to some sql queries as you want like select id common name from account right then close it and just debug this uh, acc list so it's coming or not you have to check with debug right so you have to write acc list here and then save it so here you can see my class successfully saved here you can see right so you have to create test class for this this apex class right so how to create this test class so let me refresh this window again and you have to choose your class like second so i already created this second class so here you can see this second and parse just click this parse and you have to choose this select uh, checkbox because it's a method or variables or something like that based on your class it's, it's showing here okay just check this one click next and which account because i don't take any field from account so that's why and also not using anywhere just leave it as it is and click next and here this is a test class just select the method and just leave it as it is click the next and here you can see my class test class is generated now here you can see right so just copy this test class this one test class name and create your test class here like new apex class and give this name and save it once you save it so just copy whole code just copy and paste in this class write that just save it once you save it it's successfully saved and here you can see right top corner run test so just click this run test after that you can see it's successfully run 
and in a test here you can see all the success right here you can see so let me check this code coverage is working or not for this class or not so here you can see small button code coverage just click this and here you can see all 100% code coverage here you can see here and also line by line code coverage right so this is the way to create your automatic test class in salesforce so this is a simple way to create your small class so if you want to create another class is a line of code maybe hundred or thousands line of code so you can try in your side okay so guys i hope you like this session and you like this video so please subscribe my youtube channel salesforce and for more updates thank you bye bye see ya